Yeah, first day of the off season would be another good stream. That's a great suggestion. I, I appreciate that, Geometric Heat. All right, Mac Jones on the Pittsburgh Stollers. We got Teron Rush. Oh, he beat his man. The Stillers is the Stillers. <laughs> That's right. They're going for it. Let's get the stuff. Yeah! Reuben Foster, baby. Hello. Man, I love these jerseys for this team. I think they're sweet. Very, um, very XFL-esque. Who's their star corner? Antonio Ely. Oh, good coverage there by Highsmith. I like uh, Fal Lorenzo Fadikasi. I think he's one of the best nose tackles in the league, and he's he's serviceable as a rusher too. He's not he's not terrible. I mean, he's he's a total un, under the radar stud. I've I've hyped up. Follow, uh, follow Runzo a lot, actually. Nice hit. Richard? I don't know who that is, but nice hit. What's up, Craze Tank? Fourth and two, they're going. Thanks for the follow, Tank. Oh, no, Ruben! Oh, he almost had him again. He's getting through. Oh, he had him, bro. Oh. James Conner. I do not think the Steelers re-signed Juju. I don't think it makes much sense for them. They have really they have a really talented receiving core and not a ton of cap space. I just I don't think it makes a lot of sense to give him the Oh jeez. I mean you gotta pay him 17, 18, 19 million dollars. It just doesn't make sense with especially with their ability to develop receivers. I love the coach having to keep keep Humphrey back there. That was funny. He has rumors to go to the Packers. I, I don't think that's a great signing for the Packers, to be honest. Oh, Elandon Roberts, dude. He says, don't bench me, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm making tackles that our, our starter can't. I think the Packers would be better off spending a fifth of the money on someone fast that can catch the deep ball. I, 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 I wouldn't complain if they signed Juju, but I'd rather re-sign Corey Lindsley and go sign a speed threat. Hell, I'd rather give the same money to Will Fuller if that's what it meant. If the Vikings end up with, I mean, I've, I've talked about Trey Lance to the Vikes. I think, I mean, that's, I think that's such an ideal fit for Trey Lance. I, I think they, they should definitely think about it. At some point, Kirk Cousins, you just got to realize, isn't going to get you a Super Bowl. I said motherfucker like his mom was going to hear him. I mean, maybe my mom's watching. I don't know. <laughs> my mom would not care <laughs> my mom would be ashamed of the way I said that
Richard Sherman to the Jets is a is a great take. I I think that's like that's got to be the favorite. Like the the odds on favorite has got to be Richard Sherman going to the Jets. All right, guys, come on, keep him out of the end zone. Mac Mac Jones is shredding right now. We had him covered up well. Season's going great, Darren. Season's going great. Yeah, Curtis Samuel to the Packers would be freaky. I would love that. Oh, gosh. Come on, guys. What a meticulously annoying drive. No, you don't convert Sherman to a safety. You stick him right at corner. You stick him right where he's been doing it for, I mean, he's been nothing but outstanding for the last two years when he's on the field. I, I don't think you move him. I actually think that's, that he wouldn't translate all that well as a safety because he's not overly quick to play like strong safety. And, uh. He's not overly quick to play strong safety, and he's not overly fast to play like a rangy free safety role. You stick him in that cover three role outside and just let him go to work. Get him. Sorry, I was getting a call. I have not watched Jamie Newman, no. From what I saw, though, from, like, last summer, he reminded me a lot of, uh, like, a Mason Rudolph or maybe, um, Jacoby Brissett, maybe. Good arm, big body dude, decent athlete, but probably not a whole lot there. Sorry, I gotta listen to this voicemail real quick, guys. Alright. Alandon Roberts doing his thing again. If the Eagles took pits at six, I don't hate it. Um. I definitely don't hate it, but I would I would just much rather go receiver for them because you have you have Goddard, you got Ertz. Uh oh, tackle! Oh, they barely got that timeout. All right, we need to get some offense going in this next half. Jeez, barely letting us play. Take this to the fourth quarter. There's a long snapper named Cheeseman at the Senior Bowl? Are you kidding me? That's incredible. Dude, look at all the superstars on this freaking uh, Steelers defense. This is ridiculous. No way. Oh my god, that was almost an absolute drop. Wow. Come on, guys, run this in. 
There we go. All right, defense, come on. Third and ten. Nice tackle, Hill. Let's go. All right, let me play, Madden. Let me play. Let me get in. Let me. Let me play, Coach. They're going for it. Ballsy decision here. Master Teague in the second round of Green Bay? Nah. Oh my God, don't jump off sides. That'd be like such a bad pick. Oh my God, a whiffed. Rousseau or Gary? Uh, probably Rousseau. Very similar. Um... I don't know. That's a tough question. Very similar. It's hard. Rousseau is a difficult evaluation because he's only played one year. Is Trey Lance good? Um, I would I would say Trey Lance is not good, but he obviously like could be good. That's the intrigue with him. I don't think anyone. Nobody has the take that he's like a day one starter and like would crush it immediately. But his tools are just so unique. And there's just so much intrigue with, with him. Oh, man. What a drive from the Stillers. Why did the Browns... Have such a bad fourth down defense. Uh, I don't know if there's a particular reason for that. Ooh, fourth and two. We gotta get this. Fuck. Great coverage by Edmonds. Damn. That's uh, that's GG's right there. I think. Great coverage by Edmonds. Yeah, Lions could go Lance. I I don't know if that makes sense for them or not. I mean, I'd be worried about if they went Lance that they would start him right away. And I, I just, I would not want that to happen. What does Lance have that makes him an interesting prospect? Uh, He's got a rocket arm. He's built. He... There you go, Schwartz. Rocket arm, he's built. He is a high character guy. Uh, he's a really likable dude that seems to have some of that ship on his shoulder. He's really athletic. Yeah, he's an even more raw Josh Allen. That is literally what I wrote in my um, in my draft board, is he is a young Josh Allen. Because Josh Allen, I think, was 22 coming out. Lance is like 20 right now. God, this Steelers defense is on another level. Uh, well, Lance have a top five arm. I would say top 10. I, I don't know about top five. I don't think his arm is quite what like Herbert's was last year. He's got a missile though. He's probably got the strongest... Uh, I would say Lawrence has the strongest arm in this class, but then he's... Oh, wow. What a route from Johnson. I would say Lawrence's arm is comparable to Herbert last year. Braden, I will just stick with my score predictions from my playoff predictions video where I had these matchups. Which was 
Actually, no. I think I had the Bucks winning a lot more handedly. I, the Packers have impressed me a little bit the last couple weeks. I think it'll be closer than that score prediction. So I'll go. I'll go Bucks. Bucks 27, Packers 24. I just think that Tom Brady's playoff luck is too much for for the Packers to handle with Aaron Rodgers' bad playoff luck. And I'm going to go Chiefs like 35, 31, I think. This Steelers defense is scaring me. Good lord. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if if the if the Bucks recover like six fumbles in this game because Tom Brady forces them. You know. Wow, that's a good play. I think Tom Brady forces about five fumbles in this game. Maybe a couple tipped ball interceptions. Probably, you know, if the game goes to overtime, you know he's winning the coin toss. I, I just I just think it's too much for uh, the Packers to handle. The universe, the universe can't handle the, the factors in this one. All right. Hey, we got one more play here. Can we hit a bomb to John Ross to make this acceptable? Yeah, MVS dropping a bunch of balls. Like, I'm just expecting the worst from Green Bay, to be honest. All right, chat, we're going to do one more game here. Yeah, CT, I'm obviously being, you know, facetious. Am I being facetious right now? I don't know if I actually know the definition of facetious or if I'm actually saying that word correctly. Um, I'm, I'm basically just trying to reverse jinx the Packers so that they win. Like, let's be honest here. But in reality, I mean, Aaron Rodgers has just god-awful playoff luck. Like, if his history tells you anything... He's going to play lights out. Facetious means sarcastic, so that, that works. I mean, if history tells us anything, the Packers will give up a 280-yard day on the ground for no reason to Leonard Fournette. Rodgers will play his absolute ass off. He'll throw four touchdowns, 350 yards, and they'll lose 35 to 28 because the Bucks win the overtime coin toss and Rodgers never gets to see the field because that's just that's that's the summary of Aaron Rodgers' career and I when you run into Air, when you run into Tom Brady who's just had a complete opposite of that maybe the maybe the wins shift back the other way but our right tackle goes down so we need someone to step up. Kyron Parks. What's up, Aquatic Joe? Speaking of Tom Brady, we got to play the Bucks this week. Ashe, bro. You got to put on those TFG plays notifications. But welcome in, Ashe. All right. I didn't realize Landon Roberts was hurt. Uh, Braden, if there are, I have not watched the quarterbacks that deep in this class yet, but I'll let you know in, like, March. <laughs> All right, beat the Bucks, get to the bye week at five and three to end the stream. That'd be a good, be a good wrap. Yeah, we should get our scouting done. You're right. 
It's just so boring. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, Dark Phoenix. Appreciate you. So we actually have first round picks this time around, and it's a good corner class. D Ford going off sides has to be Brady's lu luckiest moment. Um, yeah, yeah, you got. The, I I would still say the two overtime, the two overtime coin tosses, the the Matt Ryan fumble on the, um, I mean, really just <clears throat> New England's defense in the second half of that game basically made Matt Ryan go three and out like every time. And then, yeah, the fumble that they forced on Matt Ryan, that one comes to mind. Let's get it. What a pick this dude was. He's been our best receiver this year. I'm, I'm still waiting on that breakout for Johnson. He's definitely worthy. Give me that first. Way to extend the arm. The tuck rule... I don't know if I'd say that about the tuck rule, because the rules are the rules on that one. Um, I know that's kind of counterintuitive to the whole overtime thing, I guess, but uh, overtime, at least it's like, it's a coin toss that decides who gets the advantage. At least that, it's like a, it's like the reaching for the, the goal line thing. Like, is it a bad rule? Yes. But is it the rule that you can avoid fumbling into the end zone? Yes, absolutely. Overtime, you can't avoid losing the coin toss. That's a literal coin toss. Keep running that slant. Oh my god, he almost gave up on that slant. Thank you, John Ross. You're right, Darren. You should just guess the coin toss better. And, you know, even if he doesn't win the coin toss, it really is Aaron's fault that he didn't go out and play safety in those games. I mean, Tom Brady, we all know if Tom Brady would have lost the coin toss in those two playoff games that Rodgers has lost, we all know Tom Brady would have actually played gone out and played free safety and prevented those touchdowns. So, at the end of the day, who's really the GOAT? Get fucked, Tom. Get fucked! Let's go! Hopefully that's an indicator of what we see today. Old man, fucking retire already. Let's go! Tehran Rush. Stick with that slant, please. Oh, man. Devin White. Close so fast there. Oh, man. This defense is fast. Tony Jefferson still cooking? Wow.
Go Crockett, go Crockett, go! Oh, we gotta kick this field goal. Rosen's playing great today. Would it be a good idea to just not play overtime in the regular season and get more ties? I would rather have that than the current rules. I really would. And then in the playoffs, you add a format, like I've, I've said millions and millions of times, where, oh man, what a play, Tony Jefferson. That was the wrong read. I should have thrown the angle. But then, yeah, in the regular season, doing more of a... Or in the, in the postseason, you do like what I've described. Um, I, I wouldn't rule out doing the show content. Um, especially because aren't they coming to Xbox now? I do like baseball, and I always am looking for something to do in the summer. The thing is, I, I try to do... Over the summer, I try to do one, like, non-sports game thing. But maybe the show would be a better idea. Like, I did The Last of Us 2 last year. Johnson! Jeez, he almost fumbled that out the back of the end zone. Johnson has another 10 receptions today. He is just awesome. Let's run this. Let's run it. Come on, Crockett. Get in there. Woo! Good job, O. Yeah, Johnson is that rookie slot receiver. He is absolutely dominating this season. I can't believe he hasn't gotten a breakout yet. Oh, is he short? No, he got it. <laughs> Cracking. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta I gotta craft my schedule around you next time. Oh yikes! Oh fumble! Go, dude, Ruben Foster! What a clutch play! I think at 44 years old, that was the first time uh, one of Tom Brady's skill players fumbled in the final three minutes of the game. He's in shock. It's like, I'm Tom Brady. That doesn't happen to me. I guess he's too old to coach carrying at this stage in his career. Is this a Nighthawks st stream or is this a Tom Brady roast? I I wasn't sure. I didn't get the memo on that one. I'm just kind of going with the Tom Brady roast. Way to seal the game. Good stuff. We turned this season around, man. What are we, we're six and three, five and three at the bye week? It's good stuff. Texas fan, this is uh This is our second full season. It's in year 2022. Rosen's playing great. Crockett's been impressive. I, I want some breakouts, man. I want Crockett to get a breakout. Johnson needs a breakout. Teron Rush needs a breakout. Two and a half sacks, forced a fumble that turned into a scoop and score. He absolutely, Holton Hill had a pick. Ooh, Antoine Winfield is out? That's a big deal. Wow, all right. All right. And is Antonio Brown out as well? Or 
Where is he going? AB is also out. All right. Jamal Crockett. I'm going to go power here. Is Rivers a Hall of Famer? He'd get my vote. I don't know if he'll get it or not. Um, but yeah, he would get my vote. I don't know if he'll, he'll make it or not. A lot of people put too much emphasis on winning. But... To be fair, Rivers wasn't exactly great in the playoffs throughout his career. He, he had some good moments for sure. Oh. Un undoubtedly. M.A. Abrams. That Rivers is better than Eli Manning. There, I don't even think there's a question there. All right, that's going to do it, chat. Let's let's see our stats. Rosen has turned his season around. He's been great. Crockett's on pace for about a 1,000-yard season. I like that. Dam Look at Damian Johnson, bro. He is he has been such a pickup. We need that we need that breakout. He is crushing it. And then defensively, Robert's playing well. Teron Rush making some noise with three and a half sacks now. Dean Lowry, six and a half sack season. We might have to pay him. Uh, Holton Hill's been awesome. We're going to have to pay him. Luckily, we have all the cap space in the world now. We can pay anyone we want. Um, I do. I will take care of one thing here. Um, it is time to extend Josh Rosen, give him that contract that uh, we promised him. So he, if you guys remember, we, we front-loaded this deal. So we're going to pay him $36 million per season for the course of this team's future. So he's not going anywhere. Um, John Ross, let's lock this up. I mean, he's, God, he's only 26 years old. So we also front loaded his deal. So I'm going to pay him, I'm going to pay him like 14 a year. I mean, he really, he's just getting started. I think he might get superstar soon. Um, so we're going to, we, we got cheap on the front end and, uh, we're going to pay him three years, about 14 a year. So he likes that. Holton Hill, absolutely. He wants a four-year deal. Uh, I will pay up for him. I'm going to pay him a lot of money, about 10 a year for four years. Dean Lowry wants a two-year deal. We'll wait on that. Um, Justin Holland's getting expensive. I'm going to wait on Holland's, um, but... We should probably play uh, Carl Joseph as well. He wants a four-year deal. That's that's about what he should get. He's been a good quality safety, but nothing crazy. So we'll give we'll give him that money. So utilizing that cap space finally, and we have now kind of a core of players that have totally taken advantage of this this bizarre strange world so we got hill ross foster on he, he got paid immediately but we're gonna have to re-sign him carl joseph dillard doing all right for us so loving this rebuild absolutely loving this rebuild this has been the most fun rebuild i've ever done and i appreciate you guys for watching uh, i'm gonna head out but uh peace love and positive positivity everybody enjoy the games and cheers. We'll see you later.